I'm going to plant another block of corn in the empty areas. So the corn that I'm using is sweet corn, Silver Queen. And we try to look for non-GMO, or in this case, it's actually GE free, genetically engineered free. And what's the company on that? Uh, this is by uh, Heart Seeds. Okay. Hybrid sweet corn. So I grew it last year, really tasty corn, grew well, nice and tall. Uh, so I'm going to start um, in this area here where it's empty and you got the sticks. You can see I actually planted here a couple weeks back and it never came up because of the dry weather. What I want to get down is the spacing. That's why I have my tape measure out. I like to space them in a block uh, 12 inches apart. And I've been soaking the seeds, so I'm going to just poke a hole. I know about that depth is what I want. Uh, that's about an inch and a half. Measure a foot. Poke another hole, about to my knuckle there. Put another corn in here. Measure it out. And I will put a link to the squash video at the end of this video so you can see the other part of the process and then when it gets a little bit warmer I will plant the green beans put one in there and I think I didn't put one in there so there is four and you want to plant them in a block like this corn is wind pollinated so when they're in a square like this you know it, it has a high probability of pollinating properly with the, the corn in all directions um, again it's pollinated by the wind and so I'm going to move over to the next block here. And the way this Three Sisters is a grid pattern, I talk about this in the squash video also. You can see I've already planted squash. So block of corn and then block of squash, five feet in between. The squash needs space to spread and the corn grows tall. The squash will fill in the ground area. Squash will actually shade the ground in the corn to keep it moist. The, the corn will grow tall and actually gives a little bit of shade to the squash plant so it doesn't get too dried out. And then the beans uh, will actually grow and climb up the corn. So that's the three sisters. It's a bean, corn, and squash interplanting. And so for me, it's the three plants, the spacing. And I've got this whole area set up to grow like that. So hopefully these will sprout for us. And if they don't, I'll just keep keep planting. Uh, so that's the thing. I usually buy extra seeds so that if something doesn't sprout, uh, you can keep planting. What some people do is they'll plant two seeds in each hole and then you just have to thin them and cut out the strongest plant. That's another way of doing it. 